and welcome to the super fun, awesome, happy time, Virtual Jeff Pedal Show. My name is Gabor. Hey, hey, welcome along. I'm Alex. We're going to check out what Jeff does today. Virtually. Sure. Hey, please do like <laughs> and subscribe on the channel. Give us a thumbs up, ding the bell, all that YouTube stuff. Please do, please do, please Ace. do, please do. Thank you very much. And this was provided by FOMO Effects, uh, who make the Virtual Jeff, so this is what you would call a sponsored video. Yep. A big thank you to FOMO Effects for sending it out to us. So the Virtual Jeff, uh, what is it, you ask, Alex? Yes, Alex. What is it? Ah, good question. So, uh, so this is the virtual Jeff. It's basically this kind of thing. It's a virtual um, vibrato, trem, whammy bar, whatever you want to call it, for your guitar, that you put on your guitar, and you don't actually do anything with your strings. It all goes via this. Uh, now, this is the main box of the virtual Jeff. We do set everything up. Uh, you plug it into it as well. So with this, what I've done now, we've got this connected onto you. You can actually, you can watch an unboxing video I did, which you can watch here, where I kind of put it all together. Uh, and you have two options of connecting this to that. One is via, uh, it's not quite Bluetooth. It's not quite Wi-Fi. It's the own protocol they made up. Mm -hmm. You have this little box that you attach to this and then you can connect to it uh, with Wi-Fi or wirelessly, let's say. Or it comes with a really, really long cable like this one that you can have running alongside your normal cable. Or if you have a loom, I actually have a loom that I had made uh, when I used in ears hmm. and I didn't have a wireless system. I didn't really need a wireless system. You can connect that into the loom. So you have a loom, meaning it has a guitar cable and one of those. It's just a TRS, like a small. Yeah, it's mini TRS. TRS. Mini so TRS if cable. something does happen to this, they're easy just, just to um, replace, yeah. it, replace it. And that's the idea behind it. So it's it's yeah. easily replaceable if in the middle of nowhere and it, it breaks. But yeah, so basically you connect it with this into here and then you have full control of this via that. So this is kind of like a MIDI controller for that. Yeah. Um, now, what does that do, you ask, Alex? What does that do, I ask? Good question. Uh, so this is basically, so you have three switches, right? So you have this switch, which is your active, turns it on and off. You have the virtual capo switch and you have an AB switch. So let, let's just start off with going through uh, sort of one thing at a time, right? So the, the main thing it does, yes? First of all, let's get the Jeff thing out of the way. So it's, oh. actually, it's actually Jeff Beck. Re yeah, it's uh, named after Jeff Beck uh, because it was, yeah. you know, he's a, he's, he was quite the yes. Trembo user. Also, I should mention, this was developed together with Ian Moss. Mm. If you don't know who Ian Moss is, if you're not in Australia, he's sort of a bit of a like a guitar legend, Australian guitar legend, uh, played in a band called, called Chisel, still kind of does. Mm. Uh, he's currently two stuff. in the UK, if you're in the UK. U UKans, go and see him. Yeah. Um, UKans? UKans, <laughs> I don't know. Um, so basically the idea is, yeah, it's sort of a thing you can put on a guitar that doesn't have a... A trem bar, you can put it in an acoustic guitar, you can put it in a bass. I think we should do a video with it on bass yeah, too. Yeah, ukulele bass, can it? There'd be, yeah, well, we could do that. But I think bass would sound really, really cool. Yeah. There'd be more videos. If there's anything in particular you want us to see, uh, you want us to do with this and want to see with this, let us know in the comments below and we'll try our best to do it. So let's just go through the, the main thing, right? The kind of trem bar sort of thing. So basically, that's this switch. You turn it on, it says active. Do you mean noodle while you? You can noodle, yeah. Demonstrate you're talking? Noodle away. So basically you turn it on, active, and then up here you have these two, which are hard to see because it's black on black, but you have these two up and down plus and minus switches. Yep. And what it does is basically you have these lights to the left and these lights to the right. This decides how far down it goes as you push the trem bar down. Can I see down? So this is now four semitones. Those go, num numbers are semitones, by the way. Semitones. You can yeah. go one to five, then it skips up to seven, 12, and 24. So you can go down two octaves, full dive bomb, yep. or one octave, or you know all the other semitones. And how much it goes up as well. So when you pull up, how far it goes. So at the moment, we have it set to four semitones down, five semitones up, and this is what it sounds like. <laughs> So you have an A, B, and it always remembers what the last setting it is it was set to. So B is extreme. So this is two octaves down, one octave up. And people have asked if it goes back to zero position. Yes, it has a spring in it. It's spring loaded. So it goes back Can you see that? to zero position. Yeah, and it feels 
It's got a bit of weight, a little bit of weight to it as well. Some sus- substance to the Substance screen. to it, yeah. yeah. You can actually adjust as well how much you want it to move and how much you want this to move. You can have that sort of more floppy, like a lot of people like the more floppy. Sure. Um, floppy wang. Floppy wang. <laughs> well, yeah, so you can adjust all that sort of stuff yep. in there as well. Um, so, I mean, that's the main thing. And then you can just say, okay, you, you want to go down five semitones and we go up seven semitones. Well, that's mad country tones, right? That's so you can do the faux pedal steel thing. And it's, it's all polyphonic too, so you can play chords, it all kind of works with that kind of stuff. Now, the, uh, that's sort of the first main thing, just to get through it, because there's lots to it, so we'll try to get through it somewhat quickly. The other thing is what's called a virtual capo. Now, it, it, it kind of is what it says. <laughs> it's a capo that's virtually applied. Now, the cool thing with this is you can go up like a capo, but you can also go lower, right? Yeah. And the other cool thing is whatever this is set to still works, right? So now, for example, we have a capo on a fourth fret, basically. And the trem still works as well, or vibrato. Mm-hmm. A, B thinks it works as well, so you can set it to a more extreme. Yeah. yeah cool. cool thing is you can go down as well, so you can you can turn it almost into baritone. So let's go down, I don't know, five semitones. Yeah. It's pretty cool. I mean, you can, if you really want to, you can go down two octaves. It almost sounds like a like a muted bass. Yeah. You know, like the with the with the, the mute. Yep. Like the the what is it, Motown kind of thing? You could kind of get away with using it on a recording as a faux bass. Sure. What about two, one octave? Two's a bit mad. Yeah. It's fairly convincing. Oh, without the reverb, yeah. Without, yeah, 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 yeah. So, I mean, that's the two main uses, right? So, you have a virtual capo where you can either go up all the way up to an octave or you can go down all the way down to two octaves and you have the, the vibrato bar. Now, the other thing you can do, you have these two other little inputs here in the back, right? Yeah. Uh, and there's a sign, there's a thing is saying blend and the thing is saying hold. Now, what you can do is you can get a foot switch, right? Uh, if you just want to use one of these, you can plug, if you just want the blend part, you can plug the foot switch into here, just a normal patch cable yep. into here, and that will turn a blend on. If you just want hold, you can just plug it into here. If you want both, get a dual foot switch with a TRS cable, uh, and it doesn't matter which side you plug it into, uh, both sides work. This is a feature I like, so it depends on how your pedal board's set up, you don't have to have this on the left or right. It works it, with it. It can even be off the yeah. floor. If, or so it doesn't. Anywhere. You can plug it into here, and yeah. that's hold, and that's blend, uh, or you can plug it into here, and it's the same, right? It's just exactly same. the same. It does the same thing. Um, just to show that it does the same thing, right? So here, you still got the blend thing on, um, yeah. and here you've got the hold thing on. So what these things do now, right? Again, it's all in the name. One holds it, and the other one blends it. What? <laughs> Get out of town now. So, for example, what we can do now, uh, let's let's go, for example, to the virtual capo, and let's go, let's say, up an octave, yep. right, and turn a blend on, and we have kind of faux 12 string. Now... What you can also do, as it, I don't know if you noticed, but this is sort of flashing, but mm. as you turn it on, there's lights flashing up here. Yep. That is the volume of uh, the, the blended in note, right? So you can, you can have it more dominant or less dominant. So for example, what you can do, it's set to here now. If we scroll up this way, it sounds like that. It's way more dominant. There's, way. there's basically no dry signal. Oh, hang on. Let's leave it on that. Got to turn it off. Turn it on again. Let's if we move this down, it's blend in more, right? Mm-hmm. 
And a tram still works, of course. Too. Yeah, sure. But yeah, get that sort of 60s sitari psych- yeah. psychedelic thing. Yeah. That's a so fun it song. blends the, the octave in, right? Yeah. Um, and But I mean, you can do this again. You can also, if you wanted to, you can blend in like a, a octave down. Or you can blend in a semitone down. <laughs> please, Let's not. Please don't do that. <laughs> Let's not. Let's not. So that's a blend function, right? So you yep. can blend in, for example, the virtual capo. Yep. Uh, but you can also, without the virtual capo, you can blend in the your vibrato now, which is kind of cool. So you have the normal sound staying, and you're just blending in the the second sound, the the octave up, the pitch bend. Yeah. Um, sound you gotta watch the tail of the note because that when it comes back up it'll pitch it back it'll up. go pitch back yeah. up yeah 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 You could do a, actually, which is kind of cool. You could do a, you could do a, um, like if you have distortion, yeah. You could blend in, like a lower octave or something. Strum a chord. Maybe without the delay. Oh yeah, maybe without the delay. No, but you know what? Like, like what I mean is like you could do like a thing. Actually, with the delay, you just ring out a chord. You know, like with key- keyboard stir sort of stuff. Or... You know, that, it actually sounds pretty cool with the delay. That sort of stuff, right? So you can yeah. blend in the other thing. Now, the other thing you can do, I'll give it back to you. Sure. The other thing you can do is you can blend in, uh, you can create octaves and stuff like that, like a, like an octave, for example. This is using the whole thing now. So, for example, if you now push, uh, maybe let's go two octaves down. Let's go an octave down. If you push the, the trem bar down and we hold, put, uh, oh, not that, sorry. We do hold. So now it holds the, the lower octave, so you have an octave, basically. still do the capo thing doesn't work well when you put the hold thing on it doesn't work anymore because it holds it uh the other cool thing you can actually do with the hold function is you can create kind of like a chorus kind of thing yeah so if you just depress it just a tiny bit Depending on how much you play Gautier songs, you can play Gautier songs. Uh, yeah. He probably used a virtual Jeff. Yeah, yeah. Um, and depending on how much, because uh, I mean, it's like a G- detune setting on a whammy. De- depending on how far you push the thing down, yeah, you get more modulation or less modulation. So, I mean, that's just another thing you can do with it. Yeah, cool. Um, I mean, that's basically all the functions of it, which mm. is tons anyway to begin with. Uh, the other thing you can do as well is it has MIDI out, so it's got a mini jack MIDI out, so you can actually control other things with it. Um, 
Uh, but yeah, it's polyphonic. I mean, I've used it probably more than you. Yeah. Tracking wise, what are your thoughts? That's no, great. It doesn't feel like there's any digital latency at all. No, no, it doesn't at all. Especially if you have the cable connect. It yeah. didn't really with the with the wireless either. Okay. But I mean, if you are if you have a cable connected to your guitar anyway. Yeah. I mean, may as well. It makes it easier, and it you don't get interferences. You don't get any issues with it. They seem like pretty switched on people. I was talking to Peter. Hi, Peter, by the way, who's the the brains behind it virtual all. Peter. Uh, virtual Peter. Virtual <laughs> Peter. Yeah. He um he. He he told me that sort of they developed their own Wi-Fi protocol or yeah, wireless right. protocol because Bluetooth and Wi-Fi wasn't quite fast enough, wow. and there's interference from other things, so they created their own protocol with lower latency. So yeah, cool. they're smart people; they know what they're yeah. doing. Um, and I mean, tons tons of uses. I, I think one of the main things for me that I would use it for nowadays, even without the vibrato, I used to play in a couple of different bands, and some bands tuned to standard tuning, some bands tuned to E-flat tuning. They were sort yep. of corporate bands, and depending on the singer, I personally always tuned to E-flat, for example. So if it was a band where I sang, I would, or it was the main singer, I would tune down to E-flat. If it was someone else, it would be in standard tuning. Uh, with this, I mean, if we go virtual capo, it's painful in the room because you can hear the acoustic sounds <laughs> of the guitar. But on the stage, you can't hear it. Yeah. You can tune down, and I mean, so, I mean this is just, this is now, Standard tuning. I've had that thing where um, you're playing a guitar band and then the keys play comes in playing Superstition in E flat on keys. And we, no one knows that. Because <laughs> everyone plays and we're just coming And it's, yeah, yeah, it's yeah a very sad yeah. moment where everyone does a wee. <laughs> so, but with this, that, yeah. You can still do the open riffs. And so. I, mean, I mean, if you strum a chord, it, there's no latency, there's no. no. Um, Digital artifacts. I mean, for us, it's a bit odd. Because <laughs> yes, yeah. we can hear the acoustic sound of the strings. But, um, yeah, it works really, really well. So, I mean, I can definitely see uses for it. So, you've been playing. Do you want to take us out with some uh, fun tones? Fun tones. Um, <coughs> the thing I like the most about this... I liked it. Was uh, it going down five semitones? Yeah, hang on. So, uh, the virtual caper was down a bit. So, almost like a... I had the delay on too. Yeah. Delay on. Uh, and then, so I was, had this, I think I had it on this setting. Um, just sort of a pitch bendy stuff, which you can't really, you can do on keyboards, but you can't do on a guitar usually. Sure. Um, so, you know, this sort of stuff where you maybe go. Um, that's five. Oh no, that's five here. Yeah. Special paper. Was it five? <laughs> Um, but I had the virtual caper on as well, so to make it lower. Because you can't do that with anything else. Whammy pedal doesn't really do that either. Yeah. Um, set to I don't know seven whatever but yeah that sort of thing you know doing doing pitch bendy stuff I think to me that's that's I really like that sort of sound or like what I was doing before if you do the capo uh, in a blend yeah well, actually without doesn't matter if you do the capo or not but do the blend and you do the thing where you do the and you bring in the other chord Oh, that's more like a uh, like a. Um... That sort of stuff you can do. You can create sounds that you can't usually do, or like pedal steel esque sounds. Yeah. Um, or stuff that you can do on a on a synthesizer, but you can't really do on a guitar. But this kind of stuff, it's, I think there's a lot to explore there. Yep. And there'll probably be more videos with this. This is really just an overview of what it can do. Um, it's, it's kind of, yeah, it's weird 
synthy pedal steel thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it, is it a gimmick? Uh, it d- d- depends how you use it, I guess. I think maybe yes, but that's not a bad thing. No, gimmicks, gimmicks aren't a bad thing. And I mean, the I, thing is, uh, we buy pedals, you know, you, you've got guys like The Edge, right? Sure. Who buys a pedal and will say this pedal has one use. Sure, yeah. And he uses it in one song for one use because a pedal, he finds a pedal that has one particular thing mm. that's useful for him and it, it helps him write a song. This, I mean... I was sitting, we were sitting around here before and I yeah. was just sort of noodling with this. Oh, with it, sorry, without the tent. And it's still a caper, caper, why not? You just got to get used to how to use it. But I mean, there's, there's a, that's like a song. There's an yeah. idea for a song. Anyway, it's almost like. Po- did you listen to the Postal Service? Reminds me of that. No. That band. Okay, Postal Service. Um, well, there you go. Something you need to check out. But yeah, it's 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 an interesting pedal. It does quite a lot of stuff. There'll definitely be more videos with this. If there's mm. anything in particular you want us to do with this, let us know in the comments below. I think it would be interesting to check this out on bass yeah we might do a bass video with this with my new bass that i bought as well bass. um bass this guy midlife crisis probably but i bought a bass um <laughs> 45 you know uh but um i think there's tons of i would really like to try this also we have this other pedal which you can watch a video of it here which is called the preacher preacher mm. 58 sure um, and it's a it's a little mic pre that has an effects loop in it, so you can plug a microphone into it and use effects. So it it changes the impedance and all that from the you know so my cable to the instrument, blah blah blah. Anyway, I think this plugged in using it with a mic, and in real time adding harmonies to it, like an octave up, octave down, yep. vibrato to your voice, uh, holding notes, you know. I think it could be quite a fun thing. So there might there will be more videos with this where we explore a bit more with this. It's gonna make some noise. Uh, hit subscribe to follow along because um, yeah, there's more more to come. Don't yeah, you? yeah, definitely more to come. Uh, I think it's a really interesting thing. It's really really cool, and it's Australian made, which is a, a bonus on top of it for us that live here in Australia. Ding ding. What do you guys think? Leave a comment below. Yeah. And um, stay tuned for more stuff. There's co- oh, also links to socials and podcast. And actually, I put links down below, and I put one here. Uh, Friends of ours, uh, RJ from mm. Kilio and Ryan also from 60 Cycle Hum did a video with this. So I put links yes. to that below and whatever was up there because they did some cool videos and different takes on it and what they do. RJ yeah. in particular. Watch RJ's stuff. He's great. Um, or oh, and I will put a video on this Revolta guitar up not. Revolting. Good stuff. Uh, thanks for hanging. Well, I'll see you all soon. Enjoy Bye. the internet. <laughs>